For miles, all you see is green. In fact, you won't see any restaurants around here. Even gas stations are sparse. But once you see those four numbers, you'll know when you're there. Not many people here, far more livestock than, than there are people. Nestled in Guthrie, about three hours from the basin, the Four Sixes Ranch spans over 300,000 acres, making this one of the largest ranches in the Lone Star State and way bigger than the town itself. If you've watched Yellowstone, this ranch will look familiar to you. And that's because some of the filming for the show was shot here. It's certainly nothing that I ever expected I would be doing in my lifetime. Quarter horse is probably the most, there's more of those in the world than any other horse, okay? Glenn Blodgett has worked here for 40 years. He's been a veterinarian for 48. And he knows everything there is to know about horses with an appreciation for the service they provide. And I've always been connected with the livestock industry and then really kind of channeled in mainly the horse and cattle industry after I graduated from veterinary school. And now he's showing even more people the ropes after Yellowstone became a huge hit. I think the show has probably brought interest from people that maybe didn't own a horse, that might want to own a horse. When they see the horses and see what they can do, it kind of stimulates an interest in the Western lifestyle. I'm here to talk cattle. They don't belong to you. They don't belong to you either. If you've never seen the show, the series centers around the Dutton family, who owned the largest ranch in Montana called the Yellowstone. The family dives into drama with developers, Native Americans, and the National Park. Well, Jimmy Herdstrom, one of the main characters, he's a troubled man who's later sent to the Four Sixes Ranch in Texas from Montana so that he can stay out of trouble. That's where he learns what it means to be a true cowboy. I brought you some breakfast. You got a fork? Make a sandwich out of me. Who are you? I'm Jimmy. I'm the new cowboy. <laughs> You're not a cowboy. So, you know, we have a number of people just traveling through here and happen to be aware of it. Our tour request has dramatically been affected. You Jimmy? Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Open that for me. And let's be real here. Reality will always be different than what you see on TV. However, in this case, some things remain the same. All right, get ready. Wait, ready for one? Put this sleeve over his penis and hold it. What? I get used to it. We got 15 more to collect. <gasps> this is what the Four Sixes Ranch is all about. And they've been doing this way before Yellowstone. This facility is known for breeding some of the most well-respected quarter horse stallions in the industry. They're used for the ranch, arena competitions, and racing. It's really been a goal here since the inception to always have good horses. You know, we do embryo transfer here. We need recipient mares or surrogate mares for carrying those pregnancies. But hold your horses, because you'll have to meet someone else who's familiar with the show. So here we are in one of the stables where they house several horses. This right here is Six's Pick. Now, Six's Pick was actually bred and raised here, right? But if you wanted to see the real superstar, you'd have to come over here to this side. Here we have Bet He's a Cat. And if he looks a little familiar, that's because he's made a few camera appearances on the show on Yellowstone, right? Are you a celebrity? Yes? Yeah, he's a celebrity. But he's the horse that, that Jimmy collected. Because Yellowstone is deemed as America's most popular show, it's actually helped business in the small town. Not far down the road is where most of the town is, and the place that's getting a ton of business is the Four Sixes Supply House. It's the ranch's general and hardware store, which still holds a lot of history. It was originated and what it was used for, all the cowboys, there's nowhere within 30 miles of here that any of the cowboys could go get a snack or anything like that, or even like anything to work with. So hardware, we had all of that, and it's just kind of grown and grown over the years. And since the show has become a huge hit, so has their sales. Five dollars. Some people were like, we didn't know this was a real ranch. We thought that Yellowstone, it was made up along with the show. And so when we get to tell people the history behind the ranch and to see how cool it is and their eyes light up, it is so fun. People always ask me, what's one of the coolest things you get to do with your job? And it is getting to meet the people. We have people from all over the United States come in. Even today, we have people from Australia. 
but Yellowstone has, it's just made it grow into such an amazing thing and really has brought so much attention in great ways for the ranch. What is it like being a Hollywood star? You didn't get any of the money? But the main question that we're probably all wondering, is this the place to become a real cowboy? Well, I mean, it would be, but it'd be challenging if they didn't have any experience. Most of the working cowboys here, you know, they grew up where their, their parents were doing the same kind of thing. Not only in being a cowboy, staying here on a long-term basis is more challenging for them. It's not that some young person could, you know, grow and develop into a cowboy, but it's going to be a challenging experience for them. The one thing that remains true here and on Yellowstone, the Four Sixes Ranch knows how to live life the Western way. In Guthrie, Jolina Okazaki, News West 9.